There's a lot of people that know Jim Moore, and his ALS story is very different than than the Jim Moore um, story that many people know. When we finally got the diagnosis, um, stunned, we were just shell shocked, and being able to process it was it was so devastating. He's the most caring, kindest, warm-hearted person I've ever known, and he just made me the happiest person I could ever be. Larry's dementia started approximately 2011. He needed more care away from home approximately uh, June of 2015. You know, hospice care has a, a negative connotation for people. And uh, unfortunately, uh, we didn't come up here as soon as, as maybe we, we should have. And it was something that with my mom, who, who passed away from cancer, it was something that I was encouraging her to, a place for her to come. I have dear friends who we were out to dinner and in early December, and they're the ones who said, you really need to look into hospice care. It, it just rang out to us was the fact that we could have Solve here in our backyard and use it as respite care. I just think I searched out there in so many places looking for this type of care. And to finally have it happen was such a relief. When we got Jim all settled, it was February, it was cold. You know, we got him situated out from our garage into the bus. And I remember closing the garage door, pushing the button. And when that door closed, I remember just sobbing, thinking, oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm gonna let him be away from me for five days and in the care of somebody else. The care was just incredible, just the compassion. There's a calling, not only to work in the field of hospice, but to work here at Solve. I didn't feel like I had to go to bat for Larry. They went to bat for me and Larry. That's just the way they are. That's the way they take care of their patients. I could let go. I could let those people finish helping me. My immediate impression was that it was beautiful. The colors, everything was very warm, very inviting. It was very peaceful. And the feeling when you walk in is different than any other place that I have been while going to visit somebody in the throes of dying. It's the drive-in, it's the location. There's a, a, a peaceful calmness that just kind of settles over you when you walk into Solve. We have had several people come in the door and say, I walked through the door and it was an immediate peace. I felt like I was at home. There's a hospitality here in a situation that is new to so many people and that's the process of dying. What you want more than anything else for your loved ones at the, as they're dealing with end of life is for them to be comfortable. And we found the staff to be very capable, very compassionate, did a wonderful job. Those folks are amazing. They always seem to know exactly what to do, when to do it, to bring that comfort that was needed at that time. Here you are taking their loved one, and maybe they've been taking care of them, and you gotta let them sit back and be family members now, and let us take over, let us be the caregivers. And when that happens, when they can be family again, it's really rewarding. It's not a job, it's not coming to work, it's a purpose, gratifying purpose. If there's a time where you have to say goodbye to a loved one, and they have a terminal illness or disease, this is the place I would pick. This is where I would come again with any one of my family members. And maybe someday I'll be here. And I will not have a worry because of what I've seen, the care, the accomplishments they've made here to make everybody feel welcome. The hospitality that we felt when we came here, the respect of of us as a family, the respect of, of Jim as a patient here, and the serene calmness that embodies this brick and mortar. I'm speaking more about Solve now than I ever have before because I truly think it is a, it's a wonderful option for people and the best option in this area for hospice care.
this house has been a gift to the community. It's um, something that needs to be sustained for our community. We're a direct product of what occurred here. And for us to be able to tell our story and to encourage others, it would be to know this amazing place is here and it needs to be able to expand if need be, it needs to update if need be, it needs to offer more services. If somebody was going to make a large donation, I would say thank you. It's just an environment I wish everybody had the privilege to have at end of life with their family. This is a place that Duluth needs and we need to embrace that and we need to fundraise for that. We need to keep this building and this place here that affects so many people in our community. To really look and, and say, what does my charitable giving look like and why would I not donate here? It's in my community and it very well could affect me someday. It's a prayer answered. It was, it was a prayer answered. Everything happens for a reason, and this couldn't have been the better fit for us. It was pretty amazing.